So how about that for Chris? Chris in the tins. Good morning from Houston Raceway Park for probably my last time ever. This is day two of Legion of Demons, Legion of Mopars Racing, and it's the morning after I finally broke into tents. And as usual, I'm one of the first ones here because I stayed at the track. And switching my phone because my GoPro batteries kept dying. So usually I tow my car to the track. This time I drove the car to the track, which makes it hitting that 10, makes it feel better knowing that I drove this car to the track. But sleeping in the track, I didn't sit down in my truck. I couldn't sleep in the truck. So I sleep in a car. Check it out. So this is my contraption I made. I have a air mattress that I fit. And to get a little base, I have that's a race ramp on that side and my canopy here and that kind of created a base to fill in the part between in front of the hump of the rear seat area and yeah tons of blankets dropped down to 30 degrees it was a little cold not my most comfortable night to sleep but better than that night i slept in the kirky seat in the rest area so yeah even if you can't afford track weekends you know, there's ways around it, and hey, when there's a will, there's a way, right? So. All right, day two, first run of the day. good we're gonna stage super shallow here a good man that felt like an awesome run what did I get oh a new best even better 1098 hell yeah look at that 155 60 foot a slower eighth mile 70 but we definitely have less uh, almost no headwind at all now 1098 look at that I just bested my best Woo! That felt like an awesome run too. All right, let's get my full race weight again this morning. Should be about the same. So it looks like 38.40. Okay, yeah. So that says 38.45, full race weight with me in it. Just to verify. Oh, it says 36.10, 36.05. All right, second run day two. I'm gonna stop going off light. I'm gonna foot brake it a little bit. Actually, maybe I'll do a trans brake run. Yeah, let's do that. okay all right so we had a 162 60 foot so a trans brake didn't make any difference at all 
around 11.048. It's a good time, but not great. But look at that trap speed, 123.2, 7.06, mile. Yeah, good numbers overall. DA is going up, now it's negative 600, 52 degrees outside. So trans brake, is it worth it? And for all the stuff you have to do, no, not at all. All right, so here we go. We're taking a slow day. This is the third run of the second day. Now, what's to do for Legion this year is they're doing some competition classes. So they actually have a bracket for 950 and slower. Obviously, I am one of the slow guys. They're doing two qualifying rounds today and then eliminations tomorrow morning. So this is gonna be the first of two qualifying rounds and they're just basing this off reaction time. So I need to get back into reaction time mode because I was not in it yesterday or this morning at all. I was pretty much not even going on yellow. I was going on green. And I was going off idle, whereas now I need to go off of... I need to... Wait, what am I doing? It is a pro tree. So not a great reaction time. Let's see what we ran. All right, so yeah, 151 reaction time, not good. I'm gonna need to improve on that. Good thing we got one more qualifying. Oh, look at that, 11.06. So right now it is negative 67. I did put my air filter back in, but yeah, 165, 60 foot, so that slowed down. But again, I expected that because now I'm foot braking at 2200 versus before going off idle. 708 eighth mile, 11.06 quarter at 123.75. Oh, that is, that's funny. That actually set my new personal best trap speed. Wow. All right, see you for Q2. pro tree here i'm used to a 500 pro tree and after q1 i actually looked it up and i had the best reaction time so i ran 11 12 at 122.69 163 60 foot so yes that's it for qualifying eliminations are going to be tomorrow now what my plan is they are still doing uh open test and tune after this and then they have a night test and tune again tonight i'll probably do at least one more run tonight all right so this is just open test and tune night of i did come back me and jessica simple there and tigger we decided we want to line up because our cars in both qualifying runs ran almost identically and we are the one and two number one and two qualifiers with reaction time All right, we're treating this like a qualifying slash competition, both of us. So we're going for good reaction time. my reaction time 190 i felt like i should have been a little better with that and you could see the top bulb was flickering so i was about as close to deep as you could get yeah i ran 11 18 at 122.21 so 193 reaction time 166 60 foot car warmed up man we were sitting in a staging lane so long that man i was just idling and idling and idling and idling but again when i launched that way my 60 foot suffers I'm kind of surprised that it was as slow as 11.18 though, because DA right now, it says negative 554, 
It's like 50 some degrees. This is actually about the lowest DA it's gonna be for the rest of the time we're here. As of now, it's also cold as temp. So overnight, it's actually just only gonna get warmer and the DA is gonna be going up. And when we're up in the morning, it'll actually be positive DA. You know what? It's 8.30. They shut down Test and Tune at 10. So I think I'm gonna do just one more run. All right, we're going for one more pass just to practice reaction time. They just said they're gonna call it at nine because the track that it's not holding tonight, so they're just gonna call a little early and there's not a whole lot of people testing, so I'm all good with it. in the 150s and that's a 400 pro tree so if it was a 500 pro tree that'd be 05s all right let's see what that last run of the night is survey says 11 12 at 123.09 so 167 60 foot so yeah doing the launch i'm doing my 60 foots are staying fairly consistent 150 reaction time so basically in order for me to do a better reaction time i'm gonna have to bump in deep i'm just gonna have to go until that top bulb shuts off yeah i mean i can't be mad at that da negative 550 that's it for day two of legion next time you're gonna see me will be in the morning and we're gonna go straight into elimination so it's gonna be tricky because right now it's negative 550 by the morning it should be well in a positive da and warmer so who knows what we're gonna dial that's gonna be tricky but you know what everybody will be in the same boat so anyway we'll figure it out see you in the morning good night for now welcome to day number three slept a little better yesterday i filled their match a little bit more a little bit more diagonally <laughs> It works. Not the greatest, but it works. It only dropped down to 50 some degrees last night, so much better than the first night, which it dropped down to the mid 30. Anyway, I gotta go get ready for the day, get my bedroom unpacked and out of the car, and then we'll see you up for eliminations. All right, first round day, and they're going straight into eliminations, which sucks because the pot DA, according to Air Density Online, is positive, like 450 way different than yesterday if i still down quick because usually first run day i'm still quick and even in good da it's not all about that number there's other conditions involved too so i went with 11 15. i got paired up with uh actually this dude here he makes a lightweight bumper support two of them front and rear and it's better than the other one i won't mention their name the one i have in front if you're interested let me know I'll give you his info, but he makes a front and rear bump, lightweight bumper support where you can still reuse all your original brackets and everything. So we'll see how it goes. So I was number two qualifier. Yep, I got it, woo! Pass round one, 154 reaction. I went deep, so I hesitated a little bit. 719 eighth mile, I hit a 1136. So I slowed down and break down a lot. Man, that's gonna be tough to figure out my number on a round two. All right, second round. I'm worried about this one because I'm going against another Hemi shootout guy. And so he's really good on a tree and he was really, really close on his dial the last round. Okay, here we go. for me had a 147 reaction he had a 345 i ran 1122 break i did break at the end 
So we ran a 1020 on a 1008 dial. I ran 1122 on 1115 dial with braking at the end, 119 mile per hour. So I only scrubbed a few mile per hour off on that. So I went deep that time. I still hesitated a little bit because I hate going deep, but it's that 400 Pro Tree. Oh, I wish it was a 500. Anyway, can't complain. We're on to the next round. It is a field of 16, so that would have be, been the quarterfinal. So now it's the semifinal. Right here we go, semifinal round. Me against a Go Mango Demon. He broke out! Woo! He saved me there big time. Oh my gosh. So I had a 178 reaction time, which I felt it wasn't as good as my previous ones, which that's the case. So I had a 737 eighth mile, one two shift hesitated, and then two three shift was really bad. And yeah, it took me down to 1142. So I won by breakout. He got a 993 to his 995. All right, well, we're in the finals. So we're gonna go back in the pit and I'm gonna have to adjust my dial in. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do in here in just a minute. See you in a bit. All right, about to go in finals. We're putting some spray down, so we'll have a nice sticky track. Going against a B5 Demon. All right, we got the signal. Let's go. Here we go. Double balled me too, so that kind of threw me off. I jumped in. My best reaction time on the 400 Pro Tree, 127, and I ended up running an 1130 on my 1123 Dallin, and he ran a 985 and 979, but a 220 reaction time. Margin of victory, 076, so 76 thousandths of a second. I'm excited so this weekend i got my new personal best broke the 123 mile power trap speed barrier broke into the tens twice and i won their bracket race beating a couple demon actually was it three i think i took demon the first time in the super stock so man that was it's been a weekend all right i'll be back later to lock this up in a bit all right well this is going to be a wrap from houston raceway park probably the last time unfortunately we're going to see this track because they're saying it's shutting down for good for good in april but it was a great weekend i'm about to swap my wheels out now so i can drive 300 miles back home 
So we did a bunch of stuff this weekend. First, we finally broke our 10s. We got 1098. That was our new personal best at 123 miles an hour, personal best trap speed. But now I did, we finally break 10s. They were holding a competition and they had a bracket class. And guess what? Well, you already know because you already saw by one. So here we go, trophy, check. That makes it so much nicer of a ride home and a great start for 2023 although had some bad luck over the previous couple weeks but we won't talk about that so let me go ahead and get swapped out so i can get home tonight and sleep in a real bed and not inside this car which i hopefully uh will not do again unless i absolutely have to so with that thanks again for watching like comment subscribe as always and see you at the drag strip even if it's not this one anymore